First thing I'd like to say is slightly like a joke thing. With all this big evolution in AI in the last few years, and it is dramatic and a potential game changer, the first comment I'd like to say is, well, actually, EA has been including let's call it traditional AI or old-fashioned AI, for what a better word, for decades. We have done many, many roadmaps over our 15 years that have included AI. But the specific offers now, if you like, the large language models, NLP processing or the modern AI, have, it's a dramatic increase in the potential opportunities to deploy AI in an organization. This is where enterprise architecture really helps. Now, you'll have to watch another one of our videos on a capability model to understand this. So you have to have a capability model or a model of what your organization does. But armed with this critical EA tool, you can do a variety of what we call insight maps over a capability model and look at what we consider to be the seven perspectives you need to consider when de deciding whether or not to investigate for some quick wins. By the way, we always think for AI you should be looking for rapid adoption, the ability to get some quick wins, as well as more strategically where we might adopt it. And this technique works for both. But you assess the capability and you look at these seven dimensions. First are the four traditional dimensions of any capability. Is the people ready for AI? Is the data at a sufficient pace? And there's been plenty of talk about is the data already of high quality? Are the processes sufficient? Are they ad hoc? And is the tech in a position that it can support our implementation of AI? So they're the four traditional ones, but we like to add another three at Fragile to Agile. We look at the ethical perspective. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. So look at, should we deploy AI in this particular capability? Look at the security perspective. What is the information? What is the level of information security risk that we might be subject to if we deploy AI in this space? And then third is just a pure risk perspective, not just a security risk, but looking across the overall risk to the organization of deploying AI here. Taking those seven dimensions together, you can then identify capabilities. Wait, let's go for a quick win here. This one has our greatest strategic opportunity, but maybe we need to get our data right first before we deploy it there.